Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you how to use PHP Mailer in your PHP project. Now PHP Mailer is a simple class that you can install into your PHP project and it will allow you to send emails very, very quickly. Now you could use PHP Mailer or you can just code it yourself. In my eyes, I don't think it's really good to reinvent the wheel because it could take you two to three hours and a lot of headache to, to get an, uh, a script, to, to make your own script, to send an email through PHP, even though it can be done. Um, and PHP Mailer is just a fantastic script. I'm going to run you through how to do it now. So right now I have a project set up on my local machine using XAMPP. So you can go to XAMPP. Uh, just Google Zamp on, uh, yeah, just Google Zamp and download it and it will give you um, Apache, it will give you PHP 7 and it will give you MySQL and you can basically run your own projects. Uh, I'm sure you all know this and if you don't, then definitely download it. Now, I've set up a blank project at tutorials.dev forward slash PHP mailer. That's just a local project and I have a blank PHP file in there right now and that's all I have. Now, if we go to the uh, to GitHub to our PHP Mailer pro, uh, class, what it, we want to do is install it. So if we scroll down here, you'll notice that we have a simple way to install it, which is using a project, a program, sorry, called Composer. Now Composer basically just helps you download uh, classes very, very quickly. Um, it puts it in a neat folder and all you have to do is include one PHP file and then it will include all the classes that you've, you've downloaded. So I won't explain Composer too much. There are plenty of tutorials for that online, I'm sure. Um, but let's uh, download it now using Composer. So what I'm going to do is go, go into Command Prompt. I'm using Windows 10, and I'm just going to go back to my main directory, go to my XAMPP folder, oops, go to my htdocs folder, and go to my tutorials folder, and go to PHP Mailer folder. So as you can see. Uh, that is the same folder, XAMPP, htdocs, tutorials, PHP, mailer, and I'm just going to run a composer, uh, the composer command, which is, oops, composer require PHP, mailer, or PHP, mailer. What that's going to do is it's going to download the PHP, mailer class and install it into our project, and you'll see how easy it is to run it once this goes through its paces. Now that Composer has done, it, done its thing, if we get out of that and go into our folder, you'll notice that we have our uh, original index.php file, and then we have a few other files here, and PHP Mailer is located inside this vendor folder now. And as you can see, there's a PHP Mailer folder, and there's an autoload folder, and that's all we need to load in order to use any class that we download, which right now we only have PHP Mailer in there. So if we go into our project, Actually, uh, what we'll do is we'll go onto this GitHub page and you'll notice that there's a simple example here. So I'm just going to copy this simple example and paste it into our project. Okay, now that it's pasted into our project, uh, we just have to tweak these settings and then we can just test it out. So SMTP debug is basically going to spit out the technical data as to what happens when the email is being sent. So you can obviously switch that off, uh, which I believe is by just getting rid of it completely, or you can set it to one, which will just, I'm going to keep it there just so we can see what happens. Now, if we're going to be using SMTP, we can, we need to have that selected. Um, if you're not going to use SMTP and you're just going to use the built-in PHP send mail on your server, then you can just remove that. And then we, you need to type in your SMTP server. So I'm using SendGrid, smtp.sendgrid.net, and my username and my password. Oops, my bad. All right, I've just generated a password using this website and it's not really helping. Okay, there we go. I've typed in the password. Now, SendGrid uses TLS as opposed to SSL and the port is 587, so that's all. I've set up my SMTP already. Now, I'm gonna set up a from address. So I'm just gonna set the from address as my address, which is info at mrdigital.com.au and I'll put my name, Mr. Digital, or I'll put my, name, my real name, Sean. And then what we want to do is we want to add a recipient. 
So this was the sender, and this is the recipient, and I'm going to send it to myself, Sean at MrDigital.com.au. Now this gives you the opportunity to put the name of the person who's going to receive the email, but there's probably no use for that, so I'm just going to remove that. And it also gives you the opportunity to add a second person to, or a third person. You can just basically you know, copy this and do as many emails as you want. But I'm just going to remove that. You can add a reply to email address and a name as well, but I'm going to remove that. And you can add CC and BCC as well, but I'll remove that as well for just to make this as simple as possible. Um, now, the beauty of this uh, class is that you can actually have attachments as well. So let's just say if you have another another uh, class which is creating a PDF file, you can actually attach the PDF file into this uh, class and then send it off with the email, which is really, really cool. I might do that in another tutorial, but I'll remove that. And let's just set a subject. So let's just say this is a test email. And then underneath there, we have uh, a body, an alternative body. Now the body will be the HTML body. So if you have HTML set to true here, then the main email will be sent in HTML. But then for people who can't receive the email with an HTML editor, it will actually come in plain text. Now, as you can see, there are two areas for you to type HTML and one for plain text. But what I'm going to do is create one piece of text in HTML and then strip the tags for the plain text. Um, so let's just create a variable called body and we will put some HTML in there. So hello, this is my first email with PHP Mailer. Okay, and instead of having information typed in here, we just need to attribute it to the body variable. And then with the alternative body or the plain text area, we just do strip tags body. So now that's going to send the same information, one with HTML and one without HTML. And that's it. So let's save that and we will go to our web browser to our project. I'll just find the project. And you'll notice that nothing will come, it's completely blank, but if we refresh it, you'll notice that it's doing something in the background. And we've already got our, our uh, debug back and basically that uh, has been sent. So let's check our email now. As you can see, the email has been received on my end in Google Apps and it's got, it's from my info at Mr. Digital account. It's sent to Sean at Mr. Digital and also it has the HTML uh, the bolded hello, and that's it. So that's how you send a really simple email using PHP Mailer. I will be creating a new tutorial as well, which will show you maybe how to create an online form that can be filled out and then sent via PHP Mailer. And I may also do a tutorial to show you how to do attachments, maybe using another class like MPDF, which will create the PDF, and then it will send it via email. I hope this helps. Thank you.